Thanks for stopping by this guy's scratch. Today we're going to install a set of upper control arm brackets on the Project Jeep. Coming up. This guy's garage like and subscribe play stupid games win stupid prizes i know better than this put my finger up in there and this impact has no disregard for my fingers well i got the old feeling that i'm gonna be grinding this uh grinding this off because this is rusty but we'll give it the old community college try see if we can get it out but I got my doubts. Not a chance this is coming out. What the hell? Well, the sun shines on a dog's arse every once in a while. So let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of the factory control arm brackets compared to the new ones that we got. As you can see here, these ones are barely eighth plate. Uh, not, there's no strength built into these. In all actuality, if you were doing heavy, any heavy four wheeling, this would be the first thing I'd chop out, even if they were good. So you can see here, have a little repair work to do. And, uh, Get this ground up to clean up and we can get this uh, control arm bracket back in. Make sure that all this bolts all go back in. It goes, it's lined up back to where it was. So I bought this flat stock here, but most of the control arm was good, so I just cut up the control arm to fit in over where I had that little bad spot. Got it tacked on, so I'll get that welded in, and then I can get my control arm in. So we, we welded the nut to the control arm just to make it easier to install everything. Welded the inside the bracket.
So now that we got this in and uh, everything lines up and goes back together, we can weld it up solid. Finish it off. another pass on them but for all intents and purposes that'll hold all right let's get the other side done so thanks for stopping by leave a like hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so and you can watch another video right around here somewhere until the next time this guy Guys Garage, like and subscribe.